Welcome to the Photo Op Podcast, the show where we talk about all things photo and video. I'm your host, Ben Lucas. And I'm Stuart Marlantis. And this is Photo Op. Episode 2 of 2024. Episode 2 of 2024. Yeah. Um, Episode whatever of whatever we're, otherwise. We're getting pretty close to 150. We're I think getting, so. We're getting up there. We've been we'll doing this. We'll check and see where we are. <laughs> We've been doing this for a hot minute. Uh, if you go back through our catalog and love all of our content, you can sponsor us on Patreon. Uh, it's just a $1 tip jar. Helps keep mm-hmm. the mics on. Helps New tiers may on. be coming in the New future. New tiers coming soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is patreon.com slash nomcreative. Uh, that was a message from our sponsors because our sponsors are me. Me. I'm our sponsor. Um, and whoever's <laughs> on our patreon thank you so much hey i also sponsor I, br- do, I bring you this do. <laughs> <laughs> you've actually sponsored more than i do sponsorship um, contest who sponsored the show more yeah it's you um we're actually gonna start out with a listener question before uh perfect old man yells at clouds what so so this question comes from renee renee thank you so much uh what do i do with my hands uh, I hate my smile. I feel like it's fake. How do I get a genuine smile and not a fourth grade school photo smile? Hmm. I, I got you on this. I got you on this. Um, what do you do with your hands? If it is a full length shot, then uh, you doing something with your hands is good. If you're just like standing, like if you have someone to prop to interact with, that's great. Um, if you're just, if you're modeling, um, it depends on what the vibe is that you're kind of going for. But if it's just mm-hmm. kind of like, like a three quarters body headshot. Uh, here are my go tos. Uh, if you're if you're female, uh, hand on your hip. Uh, you if you want to be a little more kind of power position, you can do fist on your hip. Um, another thing that you can do is um, uh, this is kind of more for the guys, but also works for ladies. Um, hands in pocket. But here's the caveat: do not put all of your fingers in your pocket, so it just ends with a stub. Either leave the thumbs mm-hmm. out, or only put the thumbs in and leave the fingers out. That's just kind of my go-to for just a kind of casual, relaxed thing. Um, and to answer, uh, I hate my smile. I feel like it's fake. Um, I actually just did uh, some office headshots like two days ago for a company where they ran through all their employees. And their employees range from <laughs> with their smile to just like having nice, big, beautiful, pearly whites. Um so uh, what I do to get people to be a little more genuine, I don't say like three, two, one, click or anything like that. I'll ask them like, hey, what's your favorite food? Where's your favorite place to take a vacation? If you could be anywhere in the world right now, mm-hmm. where would it be? What's your favorite Christmas gift that you've ever gotten? Um, if I'm working with couples, uh, sometimes I'll be like, think about your first date. And then when I don't get the like big, beautiful smile I'm looking for, I go, that bad, huh? And then there's <laughs> like, ah, ha, 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 ha. I just like, I'm just kind of like rapid fire kind of doing all these things that either like be a little corny and awkward and make them like giggle at how stupid the situation is or of just like, oh, Oh man, that roast beef I had was so amazing. <laughs> Best steak of my life. And look how beautiful I'm smiling right now. Click, boom, there it is. So uh, uh, that's what I do as a photographer to get a genuine mm-hmm. smile out of someone. Uh, when I'm on the other side of the camera, <laughs> just start laughing. <laughs> and then I just roll that shoulder back and just kind of ease it down just a little bit. And then you just got that. And just start laughing for absolutely no reason. Mm-hmm. Just, uh, I have some clients that like they have trigger words that will get them to do the thing. Like if you watch hmm. Bob, Bob's Burgers, butts, 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 butts. See, you're exactly. doing it right now. <laughs> exactly. There you go. So yeah, just uh, just don't be like, eh. yeah. just like actually don't start, force it. Start laughing or start thinking about something that makes you happy and just kind of let it grow on you. Wait, being a photographer isn't just clicking the button. I have to like handle the client. Yeah, and here's here's what? actually something really amazing. So <laughs> I got called in for just a quick like two hour run through all their employees for the headshots. And when I was done, they're like, "Hey, we actually do X Y Z up in Alaska." Um, and the the president over there, he he loved you. Like we just loved how quick and efficient. And they're nice. like, "You're funny. Like, would you travel and go do that?" And I'm like. Yeah, let's go. Sure. So, so yeah, me being funny and charismatic and actually kind of like getting that out of people instead of doing the school photo thing, mm-hmm. it's, you know, leading to more work, which mm-hmm. is great. Absolutely. So, good stuff. There we go. Thank you, Renee, for the question. Nice, positive question Woo-hoo! response. And now we can rage. Uh, now I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be mad for the rest of the episode and yell at clouds. 
Um, so yes, it is another AI episode. Oh you my- probably guessed it. <laughs> oh, can we just friggin' stop doing AI? Can we? Can we not? I, I hate it. I hate it. <sighs> Boy, it's this going in a negative direction. This video is the direction. announcement that it, um, until until further notice and changes are made in the industry, I'm staunchly anti AI <laughs> because it's ridiculous. We have quite the list of uh, we bad have, behavior. I'm just going to rapid fire this list so fast that it's going to make your head spin. Mm-hmm. Are you ready? Okay. Um, there is a uh, lawsuit court document which is of public record. I will put the link to it down below. And it is a list of the almost 5,000 names that Midjourney is training their algorithm on. These are names of artists, some of which are not making enough money from their art to be full time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Midjourney is saying like, oh, well, we can't really know when a particular thing came from a specific artist. But they are literally training their model that this name means these photos. Mm-hmm. And we have almost 5,000 of those names. Like... Like Bad if look. you if you steal someone's car, like you can go to jail for that. Why is art theft different? This makes no make. Uh, mm. <sighs> Deep breaths. Deep breaths. This is one of many. Oh my god, I have so many. But that one, I will say, is at least it's an AI company. You know, you can kind of expect this from them. But there are many companies on this list where it's like this is absolutely unexpected un- unacceptable from you okay so speaking like, of wi- oh wiz- wizards of the coast so we know that they got caught with their hands in the ai cookie jar when they yeah. did uh their book on giants big b presents um mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. they released ai artwork in the book and they're like we're sorry it'll never happen again but that artist got no repercussions for doing mm-hmm. ai and guess what it happened again yeah um, they they promoted uh, magic the gathering cards with ai artwork and, but except here's the kicker when confronted with people being like hey bro this is ai they're like no 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 no, no. we're sorry that you feel that way but this was we did not use ai this was made by a human artist and then the internet freaking dog piled them <laughs> and being like oh really because here i just made the exact same thing with here's the prompt i used and there's the thing it spit out also like take a look at this weird edison bulb that doesn't look real take a look at these plugs that go to nothing take a look at this like weird dongly it just oh there's so mm, mm, mm. i mean wizards of the coast come on like like you're you're known for your spectacular artwork in all of your media arguably like Please don't do this. <laughs> speaking, speaking of companies that should know better, Wacom, a very famous company that or makes Wacom. I know I never know Wacom. how to Wacom. Wacom. I never know how to pronounce their name. Um, a a, a company that that makes uh, tablets for yeah. artists. Mm-hmm. Literally, without artists, you do not exist. You have no business without <laughs> artists buying your product. They to, just to hand make art. They <laughs> just the whole point. Uh, sent out a promotion for Happy New Year. Here's some tablets, and it has this Chinese dragon that looks so messed up. The scales doesn't match the belly, and the tail doesn't connect, and its teeth kind of look like hair, and it's got uh, these weird like gaps where there should be textures. Mm-hmm. This was not drawn. This was clearly AI, AI. and they did it twice. Like. Come on, you are literally the number one <laughs> leader. Like, 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 name another company that makes tablets. I mean, well, they're, they're the oh, wait. top. Yeah, they're the top. That they're the that's it. Mm-hmm. Um. So so because this made me mad. Here are two alternatives that you can buy your next tablet from. We've got uh, let's see, we've got XP Pen mm-hmm. and Huion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which I believe Huyan came up in one of our previous uh, gear review episodes for like a Christmas gift. Something yeah, like that, I yeah. Recall. I actually have a, a relatively early uh, one of theirs, which worked really well, and um, they have much more sophisticated and, and better built ones now. So check them out. XP Pen is way cheaper, and mm-hmm. it's literally the same thing. You're just not paying for the name. Come on, yep. Wacom, do better. <sighs> um, someone else that uh, should know better, B and H. Yeah. What are you doing? This happened very recently. Um, so B and H published an AI generated guide on their blog, and and this is not uncommon actually. Unfortunately, a lot of sites are are generating uh, or doing AI generated. And we guides. have the receipts. Hold tight. But notably, B and H also generated an entirely fake person who was the author of this fake blog post, and um, 
even more amusingly. Uh, is they, it? Is it amusingly? Well, the amusing part is instead of them going all the way and generating the profile picture themselves so that it was harder to trace, um, they just bought an AI generated picture from Adobe stock. <laughs> so you could just reverse image search to see this person is absolutely fake. Um, when they were called out about this, they said basically that they don't do this. And then it was proved that they did. And then they said, well, it was a test guys. Sorry. But it was a test that they left up left up for a month with no disclosure that it was test AI. That you got caught. Yeah, so it's like, oh, whoops, we got caught. So it's totally a test. Uh, just kidding. Uh, we were just we were just pretending, guys. That it was is just a test. Uh, in internet lingo, that is Schrodinger's douchebag. Yeah. And and what I say is a joke if you call me on it. But otherwise, I'm totally serious and trying to get away with something. B and H, like Come on. the you sell equipment to artists making actual art. I literally you think, have no company credit cards, except I have a credit yeah. card for B and H. B and H, tell me, tell me, how well do you think your profits are going to hold up when your only customers are AI generated? Oh, <laughs> mic drop. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and this is all too common. Like these are ones that are just kind of like in our industry, so to speak. But uh, I will just lightning rapid sure. fire off There's tons the of them. list here. Uh, in September, an AI generated song was submitted for a Grammy. Thankfully, didn't win. Uh, but... They they thankfully caught it and disqualified it. Mm. Um, a lot of sites have been using AI to generate content, yeah, and a lot of it has errors. Yeah. Um, I I love that Reddit tricked a uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, news reporter site that they knew was just a bot into talking about Glorbo, which is a character that does not exist. <laughs> just a bunch of Redditors are like, I can't wait for Glorbo. It's going to be so amazing. And then they're like, yeah, Glorbo's the best. And of they're course, like, Glorbo. Ah, we got you. Yeah, just everybody scraping knows Glorbo. Because Ugh, so stupid. Um, one very egregious misuse of this mm -hmm. was an MSN article. Uh, there was an NBA player who had a sudden event that is completely unknown because he was the picture of health. He was taking a yoga class and died. Mm -hmm. And MSN dubbed the late Brandon Hunter as useless at age 42. No editor caught that. Clearly, you're just clicking publish yeah. and yeah. not even looking at the results. Uh, Sports Illustrated... Well, you know, it was probably an AI editor as well. Sports Illustrated <laughs> did product reviews from an author named Drew Ortiz. Uh, the bio says, Drew has spent much of his life outdoors and is excited to guide you through his never-ending list of best products to keep you from falling into the perils of nature. Except here's here's the kicker. Drew doesn't exist. Uh, <laughs> much like the B&H thing, his portrait came from a website that sells AI portraits, and all of the articles were written by ChatGPT. Um... CNET use an AI chatbot that they developed in-house to make like 70 plus different articles and all of them had factual errors. Literally all of them. One of them was an article called What is Compound Interest? And it stated that if you put $10,000 into a bank account at 3% interest at the end of the year, you will have earned an extra $10,300, which is not how that works. Your I mean, bank account statement will read $10,300, but like... That's not. Mm. Do people even read CNET anymore? <laughs> I used to be a big CNET fan, especially their podcasts. They had some great early podcast content, and it was excellent. And like this is just like underlining the irrelevancy of CNET. All all of these things they make you mad and they're frustrating. But you could be like, eh, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's just. But but like. China, the UK, a bunch of other countries, they've been using AI to influence their politics by just making up stuff that isn't real and passing it off as real. Oh, yeah. Um, in 2023 alone, at least six different black people were wrongfully arrested after being falsely identified by AI facial recognition. The last one just happened last month, and uh, she was eight months pregnant and arrested for carjacking. She was held for 11 hours and only released because she went into labor. Um, we had because this... AI is historically bad at getting anyone of color. No. Yeah. Because it's designed and trained, it's trained on, on models by that are white, more white people mm -hmm. on white faces. Mm -hmm. And so, like, even a, a bunch of, like, iPhone users are like, hey, my facial recognition doesn't work to, like, unlock my phone. Yep. Like... Like we, oh, this is so infuriating. But this whole this whole arresting thing, like seriously, it it we we made a movie about this. It was called Minority Report, and they basically the whole point yeah. of the movie is, 
huh, maybe people shouldn't be arrested due to essentially an AI deciding that they're likely going to commit a crime. Like, why are we doing this? We, we literally... And they were all black, of course. Well, yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, in this, case, the yeah, AI. in this case, yeah. Um, but I, I, I actually also don't understand how that's legal. Like, don't we have to have a human involved for you would to decide think. on an arrest? Like, at least double checking it. Like they shouldn't be using this at all, but shouldn't a human at least double check the arrest recommendation from the AI to see if it's legit? To 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 stand on my soapbox a little bit, all laws are complete bull. They're all complete BS. It's ridiculous because like if you steal money out of the till from work, mm -hmm. like you can go to jail. But if your employer steals money out of your paycheck, the worst that they can happen is when they get caught, they owe you that money. Yeah, yeah. Like like all laws are just made up it's so ridiculous we, we already have a tremendous problem with policing in this country and and i mean regardless of of your feelings at the very least i think we can all agree that police in general don't have a great image for a variety of reasons whether you think those 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 reasons are legitimate or illegitimate they don't have a great image so don't attach racist AI to your operation. Just saying like, yeah, uh, um, to, to, to cap all this wonderful, inspiring, positive list off in uh, a supermarket chain in New Zealand made an app that used AI to give you recipes, which included, cool, right? which included <laughs> super random things like how to fry Oreos in a stir fry, which makes absolutely no sense to making chlorine gas. <laughs> Uh, they called it aromic water mix. Enjoy the refreshing fragrance of chlorine <laughs> gas, a thing that kills you. I think I think Skynet exists, <laughs> and it's hiding in a New Zealand recipe app. I, uh, the thing is, people are gonna be like, "Oh yeah, this this is great! I can't wait to try this." And it mm, it's chlorine gas. This video is going to be demonetized so hard. Hey, don't hate. <laughs> Maybe stir-fried Oreos are great. We don't know. <laughs> I hate all of this so much. <laughs> the fact that week after week, I'm like, I'm so excited about whatever product came out or this really cool, you know, like mm -hmm. uh, new technique or contest or, hey, I want to get back. Remember in the early days when, when we talked about how photographers can get better at building their websites? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, those don't get as many views as the news ones, which is why we make more news ones. Yeah, but uh, AI is the most requested news topic we keep getting emails and questions about ai and mm -hmm. uh, and, and uh, i'm i'm just coming out as anti-ai i'm not saying that's forever i'm just saying in the state we're currently in where ai is right now uh it sucks it's stealing from artists and uh don't do it yeah it's yeah what else can be said let's at this just point? end the episode right there <laughs> like <laughs> What else do we have to say at this point? This is ridiculous. If you have questions or ideas for future episodes, you can email us at hello at photo op dot show. Watch us on Ben's YouTube channel at non creative as in om nom nom. Share this with a friend and you can listen to photo op anywhere podcasts are sold or downloaded because it's free. <laughs>